على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد قال الله جل وعلا لا تبلغون في أموالكم وأنفسكم ولا تسمعون من الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم ومن الذين أشركوا أذى كثيرا وإن تصبروا وتتقوا فإن ذلك من عزم الأمور Respected brothers, sisters, elders and young ones <coughs> Topic of today is be peacemakers The ayah that was recited is from Surah Ali Imran which is the third surah of the Quran <coughs> Ayah number 186 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that you shall certainly and most definitely be tried and tested in your wealth and possessions and in your personal selves. This is a place of trials, tribulations, our final abode. Our real abode is in the hereafter, inshallah, all of us in Jannah, Allah, accept us in Jannah. Every day, every night, we will be tested. In our wealth, in our properties, make it legal, make it halal. In our health, good health, bad health, we do not leave the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the least bit. The other part of the ayah is what we need to focus on today. وَلَتَسْمَعُنَّ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا أَذَنْ كَثِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying you shall certainly and most definitely hear much from those who were given the scriptures before you and from those who ascribe partners to Allah, the idolaters. You will certainly hear Adhan kathira, much grief, words that might hurt, words that might sting. Allah is saying this will definitely happen, and we we see what's going on around the world today, and even in America, and this recent incidents that happened in Florida. So we will hear. And Allah is saying it is a test. And then Allah shows us the path. But if you persevere patiently and adopt taqwa, piety, and self-restraint, then this is, this is the best for you. Then rarely Allah will be, then rarely that will be a determining factor in your affairs. <clears throat> in the recent episodes, people calling towards burning the Qur'an in A'udhu Billah disrespecting, dishonoring and being shameless with the final word of Allah with the final revelation of Allah with the final speech and guidance of Allah being insulting towards the greatest miracle of Allah that is existing in the world today we saw and we heard hateful and disgusting words about our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The greatest human being to ever walk the earth. <clears throat> we saw and we heard vicious words about our life, our lifestyle, which is Islam. So this ayah of the Quran is telling us that this is destined, this is bound to happen, it's certain, and it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this is happening because it's a test for us. So it's no doubt a test and it's a difficult test, but don't be alarmed, don't get shaken up because Allah shows the path, Allah has guided us towards the right path after that, which is patience and piety and self restraint It's crucial that we don't, make, we don't take the wrong path. Muslims need to wake up 
become active, learn and understand what needs to be done. Get educated and educate others. Open up dialogues with everyone. And this is already being done, alhamdulillah, after the episode, the dialogues are being done. Alhamdulillah, bifadbillah. So you will need to adopt taqwa at this point. And you will need to have patience at this time. Don't give up. Be peaceful and propagate the truth. This is the opportune time to make a difference. Not to turn our backs and say, and you know what, everything will be okay. Hope everything becomes okay. No, this is not the time to turn our backs. Our schools are becoming less safe. Our businesses are becoming less safe. Our parks are becoming less safe. Even the masjids around this country are becoming less safe. Our cities, this country is becoming less safe. So we need to act. And we cannot just stand by and watch and hope for the best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Nahal, ayah number 125, Call to the way of your Lord with wisdom and beautiful advice, advice. And speak with them, dialogue with them, not argumentation. Speak with them, talk with them in the best manner. And, وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامٌ And if ignorant people, foolish people come and argue and say bad word, قَالُوا سَلَامٌ They will reply in the most gentle word, and the most mild word, and the most beautiful word. They will say only what is good. We should realize and become conscious of, very, of, of one very essential principle and rule. Hatred is ugly. That's the rule. Hatred is ugly. Hatred is appalling. It's repulsive. Hatred and hostility, as we saw in the previous days, is very unattractive and very unappealing. No matter which side it's coming from. It's coming from our side, it's coming from their side, it's coming from the upside, downside, left side, right side, whichever side it's coming from, it's ugly. And there is no call for it. If you're right, don't hate. If you're wrong, don't hate. Hatred will never be beneficial or appropriate, not for a Muslim and not for anyone. Then acting disorderly because of that hatred, that is all wrong. It only amounts to wrong. They will do this, so we will do that. Wrong. Surah An'am, ayah number 108. Allah says, وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَيَسُبُّ اللَّهَ عَدْوًا بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ And insult not those whom they worship besides Allah, lest they insult Allah wrongfully without knowledge. <clears throat> In other words, don't be the cause of anybody doing a foolish act. Don't be the means. They will do evil then, they will do wrong then, don't be the means. Don't talk bad, just say good. Talk about the commonalities. Surah Al Imran, ayah number 64. O oh, people of the scriptures, come to a word that is just between us and you. Common. This is welcoming. The Prophet wasallam said to the Sahaba, Bashiru wa la tunafiru. Give glad tidings. Give glad tidings. Don't be bitter and undesirable. Yassiru wa la tu'asiru. 